New technology could lower your car insurance, find your car if it's stolen, and keep uninsured drivers off the road. South Carolina is looking into a new electronic license plate that would let the DMV change what's on your tag. Robert Kittle shows us how. Dave Dolak had to go to the DMV in the rain to replace his license plate. David Finley and Brian Bannister want to make that unnecessary in the future. It's the first of its kind. They're the creators of a new electronic license plate, or e-tag. Instead of the metal plate that goes on your car, you would have this instead. It's not an LCD or LED. What, it, what it's made of is uh, electronic paper. It's uh, a new technology that allows you to hold the image with no power whatsoever for over 10 years. The only time it needs power is uh, when you're changing the status or the image on the plate. That power comes from the vibrations of your car and solar power. The e-tag would look like a normal plate, but if there's an amber alert or your car or tag are stolen or your license is suspended, the DMV would send a signal to your e-tag and those words would appear on your tag. Depending on uh, how the state wants, it could be in, in bright red um, and we can actually flash the plate and have it flashing as it goes down the road. And when you renew your tag, instead of putting a new sticker on it, the DMV would just automatically update it. It would eliminate the visit to uh, the DMV and uh, would uh, provide security in a lot of areas that's currently not being provided. It would also save you and the state money. Uninsured drivers and those with suspended tags cost the state an estimated $150 million a year. If this cuts those numbers, insurance companies would lower your rates. Right now, this is just a proposal, and it would be a pilot program used only on state-owned vehicles. The next step is to reduce the size of the e-tags from this to normal tag size. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 on your side. They're also working to bring down the cost. A metal license plate costs anywhere from 3 to $7 to make. They're trying to get the cost of these e-tags to under $100. One option would be to lease the tags instead of buy them. We know a lot of you are concerned about privacy, so we checked into that, too. The DMV would be able to change what's on your tag, but would not be able to track where you are. It would also take three court orders for the DMV, e-tag company, and the cellular provider to be able to track somebody.